I've waited a long time for this. This woman has waited 54 years for justice. Darlene Altman was just three years old when her mother, a 23-year-old dance teacher, was found brutally slain in the backseat of her car at a shopping mall on Long Island, New York. Her mom, Diane Cusick, was raped, beaten, and strangled. Cops found no leads. The case went cold. Until this week, when DNA evidence pointed to the notorious serial killer Richard Cottingham. That's Cottingham appearing via Zoom at his arraignment yesterday where he pled not guilty. Now 75 years old, he is bedridden and frail, a shadow of the monster who terrorized New York in the 60s and 70s, torturing and murdering at least 11 young women, although he claimed as many as 100 victims. I never thought I'd see this day. I had given up. What was it like to look into the face of this alleged killer of your mother? He had a mask on in his hospital bed, so all I could see were his, his eyes, and they were just evil. Evil eyes, a dead stare. Cottingham has been known over the years as the Times Square killer and also the torso killer because he dismembered his victim's head and limbs. Cottingham's hunting grounds was Times Square right here in the heart of New York City. Back in the 70s, it was jammed with sex clubs and seedy motels. Cottingham preyed on young prostitutes, luring them to motels where he mutilated and murdered them. He evaded the authorities until 1980 when screams from his last known victim led to his capture. He was sentenced to life in prison. Cottingham has now been linked to Diane Cusack's murder by DNA evidence, and she was not in any way linked to that seedy Times Square world. She was just a young mom who went to a mall to buy shoes. Richard Cottingham use the guise of being store security, possibly policemen, and he would confront people coming out of the mall. Diane's father found her body in the back seat of her car. They are saying that this is the oldest murder case that will ever be prosecuted using DNA. It's just amazing what they can do now. I'm amazed.